Question number 16 is a direct formula based question that has been derived from hydrodynamics and more specifically the question has been set from the topic viscosity wherein terminal velocity has been put here. There are two spheres P and Q and these are the density of the spheres they are same. The diameter of the spheres are given here 1 centimeter and 0.5 and the spheres are dropped in liquid and the liquids have coefficient of viscosity 3 poiseuilles and 2 poiseuilles and the liquids have the density in this manner which is very clear. So here sphere 1 or sphere P in one liquid, sphere Q in another liquid of course we know a terminal velocity would soon be attained and we need to calculate the ratio of terminal velocities of P and Q. The expression of terminal velocity 2 by 9 rho minus rho L, rho S you may write more specifically density of solid, density of liquid and R square G divided by eta that is the expression where R is the radius and it are the coefficient of viscosity. Rest now it is all very simple all you need to do is you need to plug the value and do slight bit of arithmetic and that will give you 3 is to 1 and since it is an integer based question so 3 would be the integer that we would bubble upon. So that was question number 16 now we will move to question number 17. Question number 17 is another straightforward question from the topic of modern physics and more specifically a term Bohr's hydrogen atom. Here is hydrogen which is at ground state and this particular hydrogen atom is being irradiated upon by light of wavelength 970 angstrom. Quite obviously when this hydrogen atom is irradiated by light the hydrogen atom would go to excited state. But we know the excited state soon would come back to ground state and during that course radiation would be emitted. And the question says the number of lines present in the emission spectra in other words how many unique wavelengths would be emitted and HC by E value has been given that would really make the calculation easier. Let us try to see the energy that is associated with light is hc by lambda and all the values when you put I had calculated it that comes 12.75 electron volt. So what would be the final energy that would be the original energy minus 13.6 electron volt the ground state very straightforward plus 12.75 this would lead to minus 0 0.85 electron volt. At this particular level, this must have been on your fingertips. The moment you see that hydrogen possesses this much amount of energy, it is a very straightforward thing that the value of n would be equals to 4. And now let us see if n is equal to 4, that is a final state. Now when it comes back to the ground state you know the total number of radiation is n n minus 1 by 2 and that particular thing comes out to be 4 into 3 divided by 2 so that is 6 so 6 would be the correct option. That is question number 17 now we will move to the final question question number 18.